Hello, it is Sunday, February 26th, 2023. I'm Chris Primo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday puzzle today, so a big grid, a big themed um, Sunday crossword should be about a midweek difficulty or so, but there's a lot of it, so it may take a while. So let's let's get into it quickly. And this extra large edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, Bradley Pirtle, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shawmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support sustaining this channel. It really does keep it going. So thank you if you are a patron, a benefactor, or any other patron of the channel. I do very much appreciate it. And if you'd like to become one, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video and you can become a benefactor and get the daily solve let's check the crosses mug or become a patron at any level you choose and get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date as well as the new ones that go up each week and that includes of course friday's mini puzzle um speed solve weekly roundup as well as the um monthly bonus puzzle that i solved yesterday um i don't think it's gone up yet i need to put that up um, today or tomorrow, and that's the monthly bonus solve, the highly themed, um, well, monthly bonus solve. <laughs> that's what it is. It's a, the, the New York Times extra monthly puzzle. So that'll be up there momentarily if it's not yet, and uh, enjoy those if you're a patron. Thank you if you are. I do appreciate it. It keeps this whole thing going. And please do also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not done that, and you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. There's a link in the description field um, to that as well. Nice friendly chat community. All right, so all that said, let's get on to the puzzle. This was constructed by Will Nettiger, a very experienced constructor with dozens upon dozens of puzzles to his name, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, shall we? A British dandy, a fop maybe, or a, a toff perhaps? Arbitrator's asset term. If you're arbitrating, arbitrator's asset, tact maybe? If you're sort of arbitrating an argument between two people, tact would be an asset. Eight in Spanish would be ocho. There we go. And plant with no flowers or seeds. Does a fern have no flowers or seeds? A fern certainly has no flowers. I don't think I realized. Oh, does a fern have spores rather than seeds? That makes sense. I think that's probably what's going on there. Maker of the Aspire laptop, certainly at this point, I would say becoming the official computer manufacturer of the New York Times crossword Acer. They've been in the puzzle quite a bit over the last year. And a Southern dish often made with butter and cornmeal. Fritters or something? I'm not, I'm not sure. That doesn't, that doesn't fit. Slow, slow driving holiday parade in December. Christmas something? I mean, it starts, it looks like it maybe starts with Christmas since it's set in December. Slow driving, what on earth does that mean? Not sure. Oh, fried something? Butter, milk, and cornmeal. Fried, mm, not sure. Musical piece like Smetana's Vitava. Oh, that's funny. I Smetana is a Czech composer and I saw, um, so, uh, symphonic performance of some of his music for the first time just a few weeks ago. Um, but what is this? What is this piece? Oh, Vltava, that's the, that's the river in Prague. Um, oh, a tone, a tone poem. Yes, this piece is from a tone poem that, um, I don't remember, Vltava is, I don't remember which movement it is. I think it's maybe four or five movements and each one relates to some element of the sort of landscape of Prague or the Czech Republic or, or you know, Czechoslovakia at the time, I suppose. Um, and then the last one maybe deals with Czech folklore in some manner. In any case, I think, I think a tone, a tone poem is what this is. Okay. So skyscraper feature, many skyscrapers feature a spire at the top and one time Yves Saint Laurent employer, um, I guess, did the designer Yves Saint Laurent work for Dior? Christian Dior's mark, I suppose so. 
I didn't know that. Uh, Tukus is one's rear end. What is it? I'm not sure. Film composer Bernstein, Elmer Bernstein. As far as I'm aware, no relation to the great composer and conductor Leonard Bernstein, but Elmer Bernstein, also a great film composer. Um, I think, did Elmer Bernstein do the music to the film Sweet Smell of Success, which is an incredible soundtrack? I'm not sure. Maybe not. I can't remember. Possibly. It's a great soundtrack and a great film. Uh, Dennis the Menace types are something with an S, obviously. Imps or terrors or something like that. I mentioned this before, but I am always amazed by it. <laughs> there are two entirely unrelated characters, Dennis the Menace. One, um, probably probably in total, the more well-known one, the American one from the newspaper comic strip, Dennis the Menace, and one British one from the um, comic sort of magazine, The Beano, and they debuted on the same day by complete coincidence, which I just find absolutely extraordinary. All right, an ore locale could be a seam of metal ore, something like that. Electronics aisle array could be LEDs or you know, TVs, maybe. Oh, pests. Dennis the Menace type pests. Okay. Would, I think, apply to either of the two characters, although the British one was is considerably more uh, horrible, I suppose. Uh, the, the American one is sort of a cute pest, and the British one is actually pretty pretty horrible. All right. Electronics aisle array. So maybe it is TVs. And then Pain Relief Brand, Aleve. Oh, your patoot is in patootie. Um, is your tukus. Okay, there we go. And to arrange by category is to assort. Certainly to sort is to arrange by category. Is to assort to arrange by category? I think of assorted as more kind of arbitrary and less necessarily by category, but there's no reason that's true. Um, southern dish. Oh, right. It's the fried something. Fried okra, maybe? I have no idea. Yiddish for pancake. Um, Yiddish for pancake. Latka? Oh, maybe this is fried okra. Wow. Okay. Is that what that is, maybe? Arrange by category. Let's try a sort and see what the downs look like. Soft white mineral. Um... not any of those things. Snapshot of a gamer's progress. A score screen or something? Snapshot of a game. Oh, save, saved game. There we go. A, a snapshot in the sense of a sort of, as far as the computer is concerned, it's basically a snapshot. To assert confidently is to aver something. And duo inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2001. Um, certainly wouldn't have known the year, but uh, Steely Dan is a duo beginning with S-T-E, so there we go. Communication method that may be written with stoko notation in brief. I don't know. Is this maybe not safe game, but rather than, rather, could this be American Sign Language maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe we'll delete this for now just in case this is wrong. This E-E-A also looks a bit strange. Subject of study for an insect psychologist. Well, actually, if it were double E, this could start with B. B something. Subject or study for an insect. B analysis? No, it doesn't fit. I don't know what that would even mean. So, Oh, but this could be alabaster. Oh, so maybe this is a... This probably does start with B, E, E. Right, okay. Um... So if this were an S for American Sign Language, would this be, what could this be? Snapshot of a gamer's progress. Save slots? Save? I'm not sure. Kind of gel. And drum roll followers. Tadas. You say drum roll, please, and then you present something and say ta-da. Some announcements in interrupting in-flight movies for short ETAs, estimated times of arrival. And to Sontag, to Sondheim, to anything taboo, musical. It must be Rent, I suppose. Which I have seen once, but I don't remember this. I don't remember this lyric particularly, but that's okay. 
Um, okay. Snapshot of a gamer's progress. Save. Oh, save state. Oh, right. Okay. So this was American Sign Language and not a save game, but a save state, which is that's a slightly surprisingly more, I don't know, marginally more technical term for something like that, which I wouldn't have expected in the crossword. But there we go. That would be a tough cross if you're not familiar with that terminology, I think. Kind of gel. Still not sure about this. Booby prize winner's place. Booby prize winner's place. Last? Oh, I, you get the booby prize if you come in last. And Oh, styling gel for, for uh, hair styling. There we go. Swimming, running, swimming, cycling, running competitions informally are triathlons, so tries. And investigative journalist Pharaoh, a oh, Ronan Pharaoh is an investigative journalist who's been fairly prominent in recent years. And Berkshire School since 1440 would be Eton, I'm sure. So um, in Berkshire, which is just outside of London, one of the home counties. And getting rid of is... Um, getting rid of, what is that saying? I'm not sure. What about this one? Be attraction, be... Oh, maybe it is attraction. Be a, no, that doesn't fit. I was thinking because a psychologist could study sort of emotional attraction, but what would that even mean? Be attraction. Presumably, it's going to be a pun of some sort. Be, um, be attention. Be. I don't know. That doesn't sound like anything to me. Okay, let's keep looking. Aggravation. Agata. Be a. Grab a midday, midday meal with someone. Do lunch. There we go. Let's put that. Does that help with this at all? B. Still not seeing it. There's this is these are surely the theme clues, but I'm just not. Um, and they'll make some kind of pun. I don't. Oh, no, I didn't read the name of the puzzle. Sorry. This puzzle's entitled Double Doubles. So. So what does that mean? I don't know. All right, we'll get there eventually. Update Wikipedia after the 2012 election. Edit, probably, to update Wikipedia is to edit Wikipedia. I don't know, something about... What is it going to be? Edit? I just have no idea. All right, first of all... Um, first of all... Yeah. Moved cautiously, sidled or... Aggravation, enthralled, wrapped, um, boy, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty stuck, aren't I? Let's just go back up to the kind of early crosses and just march through the puzzle and see what I can find. Really grand. It's great or it's epic or something. Epic, maybe. What's still in cartoons? Yes, a single frame of a cartoon would be a, a cell. Of a, of a hand animated cartoon anyway. Some business news topics for short are IPOs, initial public offerings of companies, private companies being taken public, and dealt with minor issues. And, oh, picked nits or something? No, doesn't fit. Recordings for oral historians. Um, not sure. Done hurriedly and carelessly. Scrawled or... Club collections. Sorry, let's go back up and do what I was going to do. Just march across the, the acrosses. The A in STEAM for educators. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, maybe? Many could be... Bring back on board, rehire somebody. Mount Rainier's Blank Glacier. Oh, I'm not sure about this, actually. I probably should know this, but I don't offhand. Small piano. A spinet piano, I think, is a small stand-up piano. And uh, if you're bound, you're kept, maybe? Uh, no, no, no. Bound. No, that doesn't, doesn't work. The T would need to be here. Um, huh, didn't expect to run into you here. Oh, hi. 
and movie genre or a shout on a movie set. Action. There we go. That's straightforward, at least. Many. A lot of something. And oh, a bound is a leap, a jump. Mount Rainier's Tahoma Glacier, maybe? Words at a pity party. Poor me, you might lament. Screenwriter, actress, Michaela. Oh, Michaela Cohn, I want to say. Did she... Was she the one who did I May Destroy You? I, I saw. I watched that. It was a series, a TV series. Um, so I don't think this is how you spell her name. It's something like, oh, I'm not sure. I think I recognize who this is, but I can't, I can't remember her, her exact name spelling. All right. Dunn Hurdley and Careless. Oh, Slapdash. There we go. This looks like Defeat. Oh, Edit. Hmm. I'm still, I still can't tell what's going on with these, this theme. Edit. Edit. I don't know. Okay, like some landscape photography is rural or something that's not quite long enough. Oh, that, and I was right about the E here. Coal, C-O-E-L? Bucolic rural... Um, some land, some land, I'm not sure. Okay, what, what what did I skip? Did I skip anything? Club collections, make, earn as in money? Moved cautiously, no. That moved. So does it end with ED? Banned in a way. Exiled. If you've been banned, in a way you've been exiled, you could say, from that particular place. Getting rid of someone is axing them. You could fire them from a job. Enthralled is something. Oh, be, Beatitudes. Okay, so that's a religious concept, the Beatitudes, but we're making a pun version of it. Oh, and we're doubling the E? Right, so Beatitudes, and we're also doubling this T. So we're doubling an E and a T to make Beatitudes. Oh, Christmas car roll, because we're doubling the R and the L to take a car roll, which I guess would be a slow driving parade. Is that a concept or is that just for the purpose of the pun? I'm not sure. But of course, Christmas carol is a phrase, just as the Beatitudes is a phrase. Okay, here we go. So the slow driving holiday parade in December is a Christmas car roll and the subject of study for an insect psychologist are, the, are Beatitudes. That's very good. Um, okay, so maybe this isn't, oh, no, it's not edit. It's admit defeat, admits defeat, right? Because we're, we're adding information about the defeat of Mitt Romney in the 2012 election and uh, U.S. presidential election. And we're doubling the letters D and T here to take a regular phrase, admits defeat, and turning it into our punny thematic phrase. So this was a G, as I thought before. If you're enthralled, you're agog, maybe you're totally being boggled by something. And if you moved cautiously, you edged towards it, say, okay, here we go. So maybe make is earn. And first of all, oh, Adam, as in the first person in, in the biblical story. So club collections are dues. You could collect dues from the members of your club. And an ancient Italian region is uh, Etruria, I want to say. Recordings for oral historians, yes, you could have tapes of interviews or something for oral historians. And if you dealt with minor issues, you parented because children are minors age-wise. And so if you're dealing with their issues, you're parenting them. All right, like some landscape photography. Hmm. This doesn't look quite right. Is this wrong? Ancient Italian region. Trolleys. Trams. Oops. Public transport me method. And brand of old-fashioned root beer. Dad's old-fashioned root beer is a brand. Heads or tails is the side of a coin. Oh, aerial. Okay, no, this was this was a trurry. I thought it was. So some landscape photography could be aerial photography. And in, indeed, probably more and more of it is becoming so these days, thanks to drone photography. Almost every sort of, I don't know, general prestige TV show you watch set 
anywhere outside has so much drone photography now, I've noticed. Okay, I'm not that I've noticed that. Everybody's noticed that, I think. Um, screenwriter and actress Michaela. So it was Michaela, Michaela Cole. Okay, so my second guess was correct. And I think I am thinking of the person I thought I was thinking of, <laughs> to be a bit redundant. Heroes that don't wear capes. Not sure what that's getting at. Western settlement area led by Brigham Young. I think this is Deseret, which is a sort of... Um, I don't know if it was a kind of proposed state or a proposed, uh, you know, some some sort of proposed political area that was Mormon that Mormons wanted to establish, and uh, obviously that didn't that didn't happen. Um, I don't actually know what this means, but it's a word that is associated with Mormons quite often. And Brigham Young was a Mormon leader. So, all right, here's the don't wear capes. Not sure. Condiment drizzled on a taco. Um, drizzled on a taco. Salsa or... Why can't I think what this is? I've eaten certainly eaten quite a few tacos in my life. Um, oh, uh, crema, which is a sort of um, very... It's almost like a very, very, very thin fresh cheese kind of. Uh, I think that's what I'm looking for there. Zero, yes, yeah, so a zero-sum game is a game in which there is... Uh, a winner or a loser, there's sort of an equal amount of resources that can't be increased. And heroes that don't wear capes are, I, I know this was, that was not a great explanation of zero sum game. I know, I know. Um, okay. Heroes that don't wear capes are, oh, subs, sandwiches, hero, uh, the term for a, you know, kind of submarine sandwich in a way. There we go. So to grow to a huge, huge size is to balloon. And pale purple is lilac for the flower, of course. To blacken food, for instance, is to char it or, I mean, anything else, wood, whatever else. Unflinchingly candid could be raw and promised from actor Damon's friends regarding his movie premiere. So Matt Damon. So we'll probably, a oh, welcome Matt. Yeah, welcome Matt. Wait. We a oh, we'll come, Matt. I see. Yes, because their promise to him is, "Don't worry, Matt. We'll come," and we that comes from the phrase "Welcome, Matt," either literal or metaf metaphorical. Welcome, Matt, and we're doubling the L and the T. There we go. All right, seventy-five gemstone. Uh, not sure offhand. Medium. Well, what does seventy? Does seventy-five down say anything? Seventy-seven down's color. Okay. Medium for a birthday message. Icing. Could You could have a message written in icing on a cake. And within a point or two as scores. Close scores would be within a point or two. Two-time Olympic gold medalist in soccer. Mia Hamm, probably. I do recognize that name. And shot followers. in a, in a If you're in a, at a bar, for instance, you have a, a shot of some spirit and then a chaser to follow it. Part of a clock could be its face, the clock face. And a trademark refrigerant of Freon. It's a refrigerant, so I guess that's a trademark. Don't know if I knew that offhand. Well, I certainly didn't offhand, but I may or may not have learned that at some point. I can't remember. Major conflicts are wars, of course, and a delicate bit of hair could be a wisp of hair, maybe. A bowling alley device, a pin setter. So bowling pins can be set automatically by a machine rather than a person setting them. And a tired, I guess a person could be called a pin setter as well. I don't know. Tired expression, I need a nap. There we go. And when to read aloud to kids would be um, something time against. If you're against something, you're anti it. What is this? Holy powder. Uh, this is referring to the holiday, I believe. So, uh, well, it's going to say die, but because... I was thinking of all of the sort of bright powder colors that associated with holy, but but are they dye? Oh no, but of course, because this is story time. That's <laughs> there we go. I guess it's dye that you would otherwise dissolve in water or some other substance. That makes sense. I didn't really ever think about that. Uh, eager assistance declaration on it. I'm on it. I'm doing it. And to be continued momentarily. It doesn't really work. Art shop per purchase is 
um, oh, a frame for um, a picture to be continued more soon, more to come, more partner worth holding on to, a keeper, as they say, and a guy is a fella, maybe? Like a deserved comeuppance karmic, you have, you have, there was sort of karmic revenge for your bad deed. Busy locale in December. Um, um, oh, a mall because of all the Christmas shopping. And to be continued, more, more later, there we go. Soprano Nixon, oh, um, Mamie Nixon or something, I can't think. I'm sure that's wrong. Marla Nixon. Some holiday, I, I know this name, but I can't think. Some holiday tree decorations are, that I don't, I'm not sure offhand. Russian pancakes are blini, and I have this little pancakes sometimes put uh, caviar on them. One who questions people's motives could be a cynic. I always think someone's in into something for the wrong reasons. Oh, Marnie. Maybe it is Marnie Nixon. That really sounds familiar to me. Some holiday tree decoration, decorations are... This I still have no clue. If you pass the threshold, you go in? Is it as simple as that? Oh, garlands, maybe, on a holiday tree. I wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought of that without those crosses. Memphis's River, the Nile in Memphis, Egypt, rather than Tennessee, I guess. Pancakes served with sambar, a dosa, Indian, an Indian pancake. So we had the uh, a Russian pancake and an Indian pancake. Disney's Queen of Arendelle, Elsa, and collect from the fields is to reap the harvest. A onesie closure could be a snap, so a onesie article of clothing. And to arrive too late to see a hotel being built, so something like mist, mist of formation or something? Sk uh, I'm not sure, but formation probably. Is the, do the right thing, right being capitalized, so referring to the Wright brothers who constructed early aircraft. And so if you do the right thing, you fly. And America's Got Talent Network. Um, I guess it'll be ABC or NBC. I do not know which. Maybe N, because A looks like a less likely ending for a word here, unless it's just A on its own, which also doesn't seem very likely. Well, let's keep going around. Philosophy philosophy influenced by the I Ching is uh, Taoism, I would think. And a 75, oh, lapis, like lapis lazuli. And so that would be blue if the color, yeah, 77 downs color, so blue, I would think. So intelligence group featured on Quantico. Not sure about that. This is a... TV show, I guess, probably. Ceramic stew pot is an Ola or something. Is that right? Flagella relatives. That's something, I think that has to do with like cilia, like um, little kind of, I don't even know what you'd call them, little sort of microscopic appendages that feel, you know, that are sensing organs, basically. Again, I'm sure I explained that very badly, but flagella are sort of a version of that as well, I believe. So maybe this is Ola. Charlotte Corday to, to Jean-Paul Marat. Okay. Uh, so Jean-Paul Marat was, well, fictionally was killed by the Marquis de Sade as depicted in that play, Marat Sade. Um, and Charlotte Corday, boy, these names are so familiar. Charlotte Corday, who's, who is that? I know that name as well. Um, I can't, I can't think that's so frustrating. It is what it is, e.g. a truism, I suppose, because it is sort of tautological. It's literally true. Body part that a dog uses to shake, e.g. it's four paws, four, four, Singular body part that a dog uses to shake for, I don't know, but the FBI, I guess, is the intelligence group featuring Quantico. Is, is that where the FBI is, Quantico? Okay, words accompanying an offering to the ruler of the donkeys. 
not sure, oh, ass king, right? King of the asses, king of the donkeys. So, so something asking is the original phrase. But well, let's see if these crosses help. Oh, assassin, right? Yes, Charlotte Corday assassinated John Paul Marat. Oh, okay, there we go. And then, um, uncreatively draws from. Um, uncreatively draws from, I'm not sure. Adjust the spacing between in typography. That's kerning, adjusting the spacing between individual characters. Uncreatively draws from, what is this? I can't think for some reason. Simple graphics editor, informally MS Paint, Microsoft Paint, famously a very simple graphics editor. And, oh, apes, you ape somebody, you uncreatively draw from them. And then Ivan the Great for one was a czar of Russia. Director Ming Liang, um, I'm not sure offhand. And what about this? Arrive, to arrive too late to see a hotel being built is to miss missing. Oh, misinformation. Why would that be? I, oh, to miss information, to miss the formation of an inn, a hotel. Very good. Okay. And then, of course, that drives from the phrase misinformation. So great. Plan for the future in brief is to, oh, an IRA maybe, a not to plan for the future, but a plan for the future, a retirement plan, an IRA, an individual retirement account, which is a U.S. sort of tax-advantaged um, financial instrument. All right, the crown blank weren't much. Hanif Abdurraqib collection. The crown ain't worth, worth much, it looks like. And this looks like Sai, maybe, T-S-A-I. Thoughtful spot. Oh, th sorry, thought spot would be your brain. I would, I would think. So there we go. Oh, four, four limb body part that the dog uses to shake. Okay, great. Uh, open acknowledgement is an avowal, maybe something you say straightforwardly. Leah, who wrote Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology. Oh, I thought I didn't know this, but I think Leah Ramini is a writer whose name I, I've probably read this piece. Maybe I'm not sure. Is that right? Ramini maybe with an I? I could be wrong, but I, this rings a bell, and I think that might be the answer. Word after better or worse. Better than or worse than something else. There we go. And if you're getting along, you're faring. You're faring well. You're getting along well. Okay, this is looking good. No longer obsessed. You're over it. So this was an R, I think. And Italian style cheese Italian style cheese rather than Italian cheese. That's interesting. What does that mean? Interesting. Home of the poet Farouk Farouksad, Iran, I would think. Persian poet, I would suspect. Number of worlds in Norse myth, are there nine? And Pontiac muscle cars are GTOs, Pontiac GTO. Oh, Romano, like Pecorino Romano. Why is that Italian style cheese? rather than Italian cheese. What does that mean? Don't quite understand what that exactly is specifying, but that's fine. Uh, words accompanying an offering to the ruler of the donkeys. For, oh, for thee, comma, asking, I see. Wow. Is that what this is? For, oh, for the asking. In other words, it was here for the asking. If you'd only requested it, it would have been yours. And then strong strings, haven't seen this clue, are twines. And I think that's the puzzle. Yes. <laughs> All right, so that was, I think, relatively smooth solving, but it was long. It was just one of those big, long Sunday grids, and so it goes. There's just a limit to how how speedy you can make one of these solves, especially talking through it in that manner. But we had a nice, clever Sunday theme. So our slow driving holiday parade in December was our Christmas carol, or Christmas, sorry, no, our Christmas car roll. I need to pronounce that properly. Um, the, to update Wikipedia after the 2012 elec election is to add MIT's defeat. The subject of study for an insect psychologist would be B attitudes. That's very clever. Uh, the promise from actor Damon's friends regarding his movie premiere is, will come, Matt. The words accompanying an offering to the ruler of the donkeys are for the ass king. And finally, if you arrive too late to see a hotel being built, you miss information. 
So very good. And how many of those were there? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, pretty good. A, a good solid Sunday theme, very classic Sunday theme, just sort of a punny little uh, collection of linguistic jokes, basically, uh, filling out our grid. And, uh, and there we have it. That was the Sunday crossword. Enjoyed that one. Good amount of resistance. I was sort of constantly constantly having to work for it, but never sort of completely stumped. So I think that's that's a decent place to be for a Sunday puzzle. You don't want to be stuck on a sun, Sunday puzzle for absolutely ages because it is a huge grid. But there we have it. I unfortunately don't have time for yesterday's clues today. I'll try and get back to that tomorrow if I can manage my morning properly. So um, look forward to that. And uh, let me know how you fared with this puzzle. I'm always curious to know. Uh, this feels like one that could have had a wide range of difficulty, actually, now that I think about it. Things like Tone Poem, Save State, Rimini. Um, I mean, there were all sorts of things in here that um, I was maybe just a bit lucky to have had uh, more at the forefront of my mind. So I, that was fortunate. But those kinds of things can really fall either way, depending on the uh, the solver. So let me know how you, how you fared. Uh, I am curious to know. But that was the Sunday puzzle. I'll be back tomorrow for the Monday crossword, a smaller, simpler grid with a theme. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Mm-hmm.